good! Alright, C. Payne, thank you for the follow. This has been an incredible draft so far. An absolutely incredible draft. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am so, so happy with who we have ended up with. How could I not be? Damn. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <sighs> okay, so we are definitely done in the first round. We have the third pick of round number two. 90 speed on a middle linebacker is insane, I know. So we still are looking at outside linebackers, um, a left side edge rusher, and then maybe if that quarterback drops to round two, we pounce, the one with crazy speed. So Dallas, at pick number 25, they take Mark Core, tackle. Didn't need the left tackle in this draft. We have Laramie Tunsil. 26, the Chargers take Damian Rivers. Might be the first wideout gone. We didn't really need a wideout. 27, Tampa. Take that quarterback, Aaron Meyer. Of course they did. That's right. Brady retired, so Aaron Meyer goes to Tampa. Ungodly speed on a QB. We'll keep an eye out on him. I couldn't justify taking him, though. So, duly noted, he is off the board. Cincy at 28. Take Joey Long at wide out. Ravens at 29. Andrew Verdon, who we were looking at before at corner. Pick number 30, Detroit takes Dwight Mills at corner. The Jags at 31. Diego Escobar at safety. And the Packers at 32. Quinton Strong on the edge. That's one of the guys I wanted. We need Corbett to still be available in two picks. The Bears... First pick of the second round. Take Sidney Osgood at safety. And the Raiders at two. Take Kerry Weston at wideout. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, uh, we have our guy. There's a couple of dudes that fell, but Rodney Corbett's our guy to get somebody to hopefully replace Jerry Hughes. Uh, really well-rounded. Great speed. Great strength. Feeling pretty good about Rodney here. A or an A tackle is also great. As long as his power moves are okay. So he's a bit of a risk. The injury could be rough. But now is the time to take a guy like this for a need. And uh, we are indeed going to take Rodney Corbett. Alright, so he is normal dev. It's a bit unfortunate. Don't know if he'll be the uh, Jerry Hughes replacement. But 89 strength, 86 acceleration. He's fast. Again, he's, he's as advertised. He has the acceleration, the agility, the strength. He's not bad. Um, hopefully he's got a decent enough overall that he can be the starter and maybe get a breakout moment over Hughes being behind him. He will actually be our starting edge unless he's terrible. So, I don't hate it. That's our first pick that's not a slam dunk, but it's still pretty solid. Um, I have nobody left on my kind of short list of early picks. Um... But we do know that we need linebackers that we're actually interested in. So let's take a look, and then we can kind of take a look elsewhere at who's slipping down the board. So we do need linebackers. There are these, these guys in the second to third round. Uh, so we have Matt Sutton. He's got good speed, good shuttle time. He's okay. He's okay. He's not a, a slam dunk physical specimen. Uh, Dorian Crawford is trash. And Dion Belton is trash. So the best linebacker left in this draft looks to be Matt Sutton. Let's uh, take a look at some of the other talents here. I uh, hate the combine from McGowan. Damn. What about D'Angelo Graham? Graham's promising. Yeah, Graham's probably the most promising guy left. And that's a third to fourth round dude. On that right-hand side, there's Cade Roseman, who I hated, right? Yeah, he's just way too fucking slow. Way too slow. Uh, Terrell Jones, I don't think we had on a short list either. He's fast, he's strong, the agility leaves a bit to be desired. He's okay. Uh, Doug Gray. 24 years old. No. No, 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 no. Uh, Cassius Streeter. 
Cassius, you are not that great. We might be in trouble linebacker-wise. And then Jerry Collins. Okay, so actually we got two guys later on. Right-hand side, we got Jerry Collins in the, uh, in the third round. And then left-hand side was uh, D'Angelo Graham, if I was not mistaken. Yeah, D'Angelo Graham's okay there. Jones. I, I didn't mind Terrell Jones, but at the same time, I'm not convinced enough. I know the grades are good, but combine-wise, like, he is fast, he can hit. I'm just worried about the agility, especially for an outside linebacker. Like, you gotta figure, you're on, you're on the edge of the line, and you get juked, you don't have the agility to keep up with somebody. It scares me. Probably has good pursuit, but I don't want him getting juked. So I don't think there's anybody here where I'm like, oh yeah, we have to trade up and get them right now. Um, I think we can kind of hold on. Um, there are some other dudes that fell, but these aren't extreme positions of need. So right now I'm not too worried about it because it would just be money that we cannot afford to pay. We do actually have a decent need for a right guard. Where Juan Castaneda was there, but I think we looked at him before. We did, and he was terrible. Um, what about Martin Hess? Martin Hess isn't that bad. He's not that bad at all. Looks like we can have a damn good third round here, and also trade down to just get a crap load of picks for next year, too. Honestly, Hess and Richmond weren't that bad. I liked Hess a little bit more, though. Okay, so I do think we can trade down with this pick. Again, Patriots fan, I am going to go full Belichick. So we can go ahead and sim to our next pick, since we can't see overalls anymore. Matt Sutton's off the board, didn't really like him. Our next pick after this is still here in the third round, so let's go ahead and trade down. Unless, well, eh, let's take a look at the board. Let's take a look at the board, just to see if there's anyone who fell towards the latter stages of the second round who we can kind of steal here. So first to second round, there are four dudes. Jonathan Cardona, a wide receiver out of Ohio State. His key ratings are fucking abysmal. Apparently, catching traffic, catching and release are all shit. But he's fast and can jump. So he can't catch worth a damn. But he is a uh, he's a kick returner, for sure. His agility is not great, but his straight line speed's ungodly. Could be worth the risk. There's Cam Beasley at safety, which we don't need at all. <sighs> Combine stud. 5'7 safety, though, right? Was he 5'7 or 5'9? He was 5'9. 23 years old. He's a combine stud, but we really don't need that. Uh, we don't Again, we don't need safeties. I think we trade down. Cardona could be interesting as a kick return specialist, but um, I'm not feeling it. Let's see what offers are out there. Is there anything better than Cardona? Second and a fourth. Second and a fourth seems to... Ooh, second and a third. From San Francisco. Yes, sir. We'll take that deal from the 49ers. Two picks next year. You got it. You got it. No problem. We'll go ahead to pick number 30. Of this round. And Cardona just got selected. Pick after this is the third pick of round three. So we will trade away this pick as well. And then start looking at our third round options. So a second round pick next year, a second and a fifth. Second, fourth, and a seventh. Second, fourth, and a seventh sounds pretty good to me. You got a done deal there. Another deal with the Rams. We're going to own all their picks next year. So let's go ahead and sim to that next pick. And let's see who is available. We are looking for Graham or Collins. Floyd Morton is still there as someone who's really fallen down the board. 
He's a combine beast, you know. I don't know why Floyd Morton has fallen so far down the board. But he is a bit of a combine beast. He might be worth the shout. Let me see when our other third round picks are. Because unfortunately, okay, our next pick after this is seventh. <sighs> All safeties look good in combines. It's true, but you never know, man. You never know. I am going to play it safe. I am going to go for our linebackers. But if he's still there after these two picks, then we're taking him. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with linebacker. And we're taking him a little bit early, but that's okay. D'Angelo Graham. Going to hope for the best that you are half decent. You're a good fit for us, too. D'Angelo Graham. <laughs> I still got it, chat. I still got it. In terms of reading the system and taking good players, I still fucking got it. D'Angelo Graham, baby. If you don't know about the magic in the drafting that we have here, now you know. 90 acceleration, 87 agility. I am a son of Belichick. I like me some mobile. Mobile linebackers. Let's fucking go. Oh, it's awesome. I know he's 23, but dude, that's huge. A-man coverage. I love it. Oh, I love it. Let's fucking go. We got a linebacker for the future on that left-hand side. That's beautiful. Now will Collins on the right be selected before our next pick? Let's find out. Falcons at four. Take Claiborne. We are looking to avoid Collins. Saints. Take Roland. Giants. Take Bradfield. Let's go. We're going to get both of them. Collins. Collins. Thank you for the anonymous gifted sub, by the way. Here we go. Our other guy that we liked, Jerry Collins. To fill out our last big need. The pursuit zone coverage looks great. Combine beast again. Jerry. I've rebuilt this team in one year. Jerry fucking Collins. Oh, this linebacker core. Oh, my God. Woo. Was he from the seat? Did they both go to LSU? Let's go. Dude, this is going to be one of my best drafts of all time. Holy shit. Oh, my God. I never expected them both to be hidden. I thought good attributes with normal depth. Let's oh, fucking go. Crabbin, thank you for the follow. Graham and Collins, both out of LSU. Thank you to the Tigers. <laughs> oh, just the mobility. Just the fucking mobility. We're going to have to play more with this team than Sim. We're going to have to. This team's going to be insane. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Like, again, he's just an athletic beast. Teach him the rest. You can't teach that athleticism. So at this point, uh, we'll sim to the 15th pick. We're looking at a right guard. Imagine they hate each other, right? But we are just crushing this draft. Absolutely crushing this draft. So let's see here. There were two right guards we had on our list. Hess was the more ideal one. And he is gone. And so is Richmond. So we're not going to get the right guard upgrade we wanted. That's okay. That's okay. We can't get everything. Uh, although Reggie Wheatley looks decent. He looks decent. How's franchise compared to last year? So far, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's not totally different if you played a crap load of the new scouting system. But I didn't, so I'm having fun. Okay, Reggie Wheatley at right guard. He's the dude to take. He's not. He's projected to be a late pick. But he's definitely the guy. And that's the last thing that we really need, is Wheatley. So let's take a look. Unless there's a fucking steal here, we don't got to worry. Um, let's take a look. Uh, again, we'll, we'll filter out the don't needs. Let's take a look really quickly. So quarterback-wise, are either of these two decent? We could take a QB. We don't need one. 20 year, 21 years old out of Colorado State. 
Honestly? Good throw power, solid strength, decent speed. He's not terrible. Like, he's somewhat mobile. That is, uh, the flashbang is gone, yes, thank god. I really haven't had too many issues with the game so far. So, I mean, we're not going to take Sam White. Uh, at least not yet. And then there's Justin Graves. 21 years old out of FIU. Has great throw power. And arm strength. He's not all that mobile, though. So we could take either of those two a little bit later. Uh, running backs. Arthur Reynolds. 24 years old. Trash. Not trash, but just not fast enough. He's got good agility. That's about it. Uh, we'll look at everyone who was projected to be scouted for these positions that we didn't need unless somebody slipped. Joe Thomas. Good agility, not fast enough for me. Clayton Hood out of Virginia Tech. Nope. <laughs> we need to see top tens and speeds here. Mitch Fitzpatrick. Nope. Uh, Wayne Candidate. What a name. 22 years old out of Mizzou. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Got a few more. Steven Pippen. Stefan. Uh, yeah, he's got the speed and agility. I mean, he could be... He could be worth a late shout. I'm not saying he's going to be anything special. It's just, you know... Late shout, see what you get. Roy James... Decent. He was a receiving type too, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. Roy James. In case we end up with a bunch of late picks from trading down. Chris Mims out of Washington. Looks damn good too. As a power back. Interesting. So a couple of good running backs late. Uh, wide receivers. Okay. A couple of dudes still to look at. Josh Overstreet out of Oklahoma State. Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Javante Spruce. 21 years old out of Boise State. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. John Tennant. Out of Montana. Has the speed and agility. Okay. Tennant. Not bad. He's listed as a deep threat. He's probably more of a slot option. So, Tennant would be between round three and four. Joey Milstead. 6'4", 21 years old. Uh, has the strength, has the jumping, doesn't have anything else, though. I mean, in theory, you could talk about a tight end, but <laughs> we don't need one of those now. Dexter Bright out of Ohio State. Nope. Better options than him. Tennant, maybe. Travis McCann. Slot option. Nope. <laughs> Not fast enough, buddy. Uh, we got a couple more to look at here. Rashawn Starks. Nope. Nope, nope. Not fast enough. Geo Watford. Yes. Geo's got some speed. Geo's got some speed. Projected as a late pick. And then Tyrell Turner. Six foot five. Again, has the strength, has the jump. Doesn't have much else, but I gotta be honest, I, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. You never know on that. Uh, we need right hand side and corners. So, right edge, we got a couple of dudes to look at. Matt Huff. Pff, fucking Matt Huff. Okay. Jesus. So, third to fourth round projection for Matt Huff. He's a combine beast. Nick Correa. No. Frankie, what's up, buddy? How are you? Let's see, we got Dion Flynn. Trash. We're going to be able to probably get some late steals here. This is going to be nice. Billy Hamels. Trash. Just waking up for work. Just getting off for work. Aren't, aren't different schedules great? Uh, Carlos James. Could also be half decent. Could also be half decent. Don't mind those combine results. Timmy Hudson. I'm just going to bed. Me too, soon. 
Timmy Hudson, trash. I can't wait to see what this team looks like, though, heading into next year. I'm so excited. Uh, Josh Skinner. Also decent. Okay. And the last thing we got to look at are corners. So our, our setup here is looking okay. How many corners we got? A couple. Let's start from the bottom. Lonnie Johnson. He's fast. He doesn't have the agility. This will end up being on YouTube, yes, on my uh, on my second channel. And of course, you can always watch the Twitch VOD back as well. I'm probably going to upload like at least two a days on this so people catch up. Tremaine Livingston. Trash. Forest Ware. I'm so fucking excited after this draft, man. There's something about team building in Madden that honestly feels... To me, feels better than any other franchise mode out there. I don't know what it is, but just the satisfaction of like, oh, you got a hidden dev guy. And even if he ends up being a star, the satisfaction of, um, oh, of building a team you. in Madden, especially to the draft. Uh, Kings, thank you, by the way. Only thing that threw me off of uh, where is the lack of a bench in the 20-yard the shuttle, but you're right. He's not bad. I don't think... Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, just... Um, I don't know, man. There's something about Madden. For all the uh, for all the issues this game has, there's just something about it. We're building a team. It's just so damn satisfying. Okay, that guy's a physical beast. He just can't run fast. But Levi or Richard, we'll keep him in mind. Two more guys to look at. Sydney Thorpe. Not good enough. And is kinder to super teams. Like NHL where the good teams are. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It feels like, oh shit, I got a great player. I'm on the right track to winning. Where NHL's like, yeah, I got a great player. Can't wait for my goalie to shit the bed. Yeah. Okay, so we do have three players I've identified as being worth taking here in the third to fourth round. Uh, but we are going to trade out of the third round and then starting in the fourth round, if they're there, we're going to take them. Uh, just because, again, I don't want to get totally buried by uh, bonus money. So a fourth and a fifth seems to be the right way to go. Third round pick next year, third and a fifth. Third and a fifth. Going once, going twice. We'll take it from Jacksonville. I don't think they'll be as good as Green Bay. Actually, Green Bay is for next year. Let's do that. Let's do that. So there we go. From now on, the remainder of our picks, I think we'll be taking them. We'll skip ahead to our next pick, and let's see who's available. Out of uh, three different dudes. Tennant, Huff, and Richard. If any. So wide receiver, Tennant is there. Josh Tennant, still available. On the edge, Huff is gone. All right, so no Huff. There is still James and Skinner. And then at corner, we're looking at Levi Richard. Honestly, I like that wide receiver. I like that wide receiver and John Tennant, from what I remember. The key ratings look like shit. Eh. He's fast, but not amazing. How does he compare to Richard? We're still probably going for Tennant here. How does he compare to Levi Richard? 23 years old. Terrible man coverage. Terrible zone coverage. Richard was the one who's slow, but is good elsewhere. Makes me wonder if we can move him around. 5'11", 207. This makes me wonder if we can move him. He has been pretty consistently slow, though. Let's go for Levi Richard with the pick. Normal dev. 93 acceleration, 86 agility, 87 speed, though. Yeah, I'm not complaining. 60 strength, that's not bad at all. For someone who we thought might be a little bit slow, that's not bad at all. For Levi Richard, I'll take that. Just good depth option, pretty much. Next pick isn't until round number five. Gotta remember, I think he was only at like 50% scouted, too. 
All right, so. Is Tennant still there? I doubt it. Wow, John Tennant's still there. Okay, the problem is we are technically into late pick territory. And Wheatley's gone. Early. The right guard I was looking at that I wanted is gone. We should have taken him in the last round, I guess, but I thought that was too early. All right, so Wheatley's gone. Um, fuck. Well, we've officially entered the Wild West, so Graves oh, is still there. White you. is gone. Bano, thank you for the follow. Running back-wise, Mims is still there, so is James, but Pippen is gone. I think we got to take Mims here. Wide out, we got Tennant. I'm looking for Watford, who's still there, and Terrell Turner. And then on the edge, Carlo James, Josh Skinner. And then there was Ware at corner. Not that we need another corner, but he is there. Let me take one more look at Tennant at wide out, just because he was someone who was projected to be half decent. He's got the speed, he's got the agility. He could be a return man. Let's take John Tennant. It's a late third round pick. Normal dev, 96 acceleration, 93 agility, 95 speed. Say hello to our new kick returner, John Tennant. I am okay with this. Welcome aboard, John Tennant. Kick return extraordinaire. We go later on in the fifth round. Extra Bright's off the board. I'm looking for Mims here. If he's there. Again, it's a shame to get rid of the shortlist. Quarterback's gone, so we will not take a quarterback in this draft. Graves is gone. James is there, but Mims is gone. So Mims goes off the board. That's a shame. Wide receiver. Gio Watford's still there, as is Terrell Turner. On that right-hand side, James is still there. Skinner is not. So the AI, once you get to the fourth round, they really start just going for whoever, which is pretty nice. And then at corner, Ware is also gone. Wow. Wow, yes, yeah, so the AI, fourth round and beyond, they are very unpredictable. Um, let's go for James, the running back, just to take one. Take Roy James out of Ohio State. Normal dev, 92 acceleration, 85 agility, though, for a receiving back. Not bad. He's got good speed out of the backfield. He's not bad. 21 years old, too. Yeah, Fidel, I agree. Like, you hit day three projection, and yeah, it just becomes a complete crapshoot. Uh, we go to the seventh round. I still got three dudes left on my short list. Let's see who's here. Yeah, it's kind of weird you can't do a manual shortlist anymore, but it is what it is. So Watford's gone. Turner is still there. Turner's the guy unless James is here. And James is not. So we got our final dude, I think. Another wideout in Terrell Turner, who's tall as fuck and can jump. Normal dev. 6'5". With 92 jumping. <laughs> if you can just... Teach, if you can just teach him how to catch, you'll be okay, Terrell Turner. And that'll do it. Uh, we will sim, or not sim, but we'll sim up to our next pick if there is one. Right at the end, we'll trade this away if there's an offer. We'll take Cleveland's seventh rounder next year. And that is it for our first draft at the helm of the Houston Texans. And my God, if that doesn't feel like a fucking slam dunk, man. All right, so Norris is a 74. Oh, my God. DiCarvalo is 71. Slate is a 74. 73 for Corbett. 71 for Graham. 70 oh, for Collins. For 65. You. Shout out to Skidmarks. What a name. 65 for Richard. 69 for Tennant. 66 for James. 69 for Turner. So, not bad. We'll see how that compares. But yeah, Norris is a 74. Let's take a look uh, at every round here. Wow.
We had an amazing draft. But we should have traded up to second overall to take Harvey Terry. We should have. We knew he was great. We had pick three. And we'd hoped that he'd fall. And he did not. Any, uh, any recommendation on how to get better at franchise outside of gameplay? Uh, Bano, ask away and I'll do what I can. Ask away and I'll uh, answer as best I can. Now, what is the durability for Harvey Terry? And yeah, I agree. Davis Mills did screw me out of him. What is his durability? Because that was the big question. That was the big, big question. Seventy-eight for injury. It's worth it. Yep. Ah, uh, we should have traded up to number two to get Harvey Terry. I was hoping he would fall. He didn't. We missed out on an all-time corner. All-time. Day one starter, no joke. Wow. Uh, Greg Thomas did have hidden devs, so Greg Thomas was legit as a number one option. How good was Tim Weston? We were looking at him quite a bit. He was hidden dev as well. Oh man, I I'm st I, we had a great draft. It could always be better, of course. And yeah, Terry would have been the guy. You got Nash, Hidden Dev. So so far, Hidden Dev for everybody. What about Paul Wilson, the quarterback, Hidden Dev. I'm surprised the Eagles took a QB. But yeah, we should have we should have traded up for Terry. It was worth risking it to not. Wow, yeah. So far, every single player selected up to the first seven picks. Hidden Dev, of course. We ended up with Austin Norris, though. I can't complain. You had Brian Morris at a 74. How good was Larry Devine? Yeah, Hidden Dev. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at all of these guys later. End of next season, I think, will be the time. Because then we'll know their dev patterns. Then we'll know their overalls. For now... It's just guesswork, as Meyer was a 70, 90 speed at quarterback, though. Again, he's the one replacing Tom Brady. Damn, we had such a good draft, but to not get Terry. But again, now we have an amazing, absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at overall steals here. I'm not mad anymore. Did we fuck up not trading up to number two? Yes, we did. Did everybody fuck up because Sheldon Rudd or Shelton Rudd was like top five preseason, plummeted down the draft board, and still ended up being a fucking 83 hidden dev? Oh my god, the corners in this draft. I'm still... So excited for our team, but there were two ungodly corners in this draft, and unfortunately we didn't end up with either of them. Holy shit. Hey, I was right that Johnny Pickett was going to be good. 76 hidden dev? 76 normal. Wow. Wow. So again, first round, 83 rated, Harvey Terry, second overall, and then 83, Shelton Rudd. Third round, highest were 75s. Fourth round, he had a 77 tight end in Sean Fuller. Hidden Dev, too. What a pick for the... Jesus! He might be better than our guy. He might only be star, but holy shit. This is the year of draft steals, apparently. 75 overall. Oh, God, it's Mims. Ah, oh, normal dev. I feel a little bit better. No disrespect to Chris Mims. I feel better that he's normal dev because we wanted him. Round 6. 69 was the highest rated. Round 7. There was a 70 in Trayvon Pleasant. Normal dev. Wow. Those two corners, man. Those two corners. And again, we will check at the end of this upcoming season what kind of player development there is. Uh, that way we can see all the badges for those guys and just know like how crazy of a draft it was. We did still do amazing. We did. 
the free agency, the drafts, we killed it. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, just one of those two corners would have been amazing. Would have been absolutely amazing, and we just didn't go in that direction. We didn't trade up the second overall like we could have. And we didn't take that guy in the second round, but you're never going to get every single best player. Someone wants to see Forrest from round four. So. Uh, how good was Forrest in round four? There's Reggie Wheatley. I really wanted him. Normal dev. Okay, didn't miss out on much. Oh, yeah, we'll look at the UDFAs. We always do. We always do. Uh, I don't know where the hell Forrest is in round four. If he even went there, I could have sorted by name. He wasn't in round four, so I'm not going to go on a goose chase. But, all right. So, we advance to the beginning of a new season. We have 51 players as well. Now 80 rated. Let's take a look at this roster. We got a little bit to do, a little bit to fill this out. I can't believe that, man. Those two corners, that's... That is insanity. I am now officially nervous about how long that's taking to load. Okay. So a quarterback, Davis Mills, is still our guy. Geno Smith is behind him as a mentor. But Davis Mills is that guy. Uh, he's he's going to get a little bit of a chance to prove himself, and if not, we can always take a quarterback later. Running back, Damian Pierce is our guy. Player tag is up to day one starter. Star Dev as a sophomore. Teams are unlikely to draft a replacement. That's true. That's true. Damian Pierce is our guy. He developed out of nowhere. we got a couple of extra running backs here, of course, now um, that we could end up cutting or going to the practice squad. Oh, Fullback wise, Al King Gold is there. <sighs> would like to know. Would you like to know? I would not. Leave me alone. Uh, wide receiver wise, we got Ridley, Valdez Scantling, Collins, who I still hope develops. John Mechie will get to play this year. So it, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. We got options. We got options. Tenant, of course, is insane. Austin Norris, absolutely a day one starter at tight end. I really like the combination of, uh, of Norris and Jordan. I think, though, uh, Tegan's probably out. Oh, good for you. Tunsil there. I'm going to go with Council. Thank you for the fall. How many people get that wrong? Did I get it wrong? Honestly, the O-line's looking okay. Like, we just have to fill out the depth of this team. But a tackle. We're fucking set with Jenkins there now, too. Uh, Rodney Corbett will be the day one starter over Jerry Hughes, who's now in the mentor role. We got Grenard the Greenard. Got Blacklock, Di Carvalho listed as future starter. To be honest, he's going to probably be the actual starter, depending on the defense. We want to make sure that Shakir gets uh, a good amount of uh, good amount of downs played. Angelo Graham. So happy about him. We got Graham. We got Deacon Slate in the middle now. Honestly, Christian Kirksey's gone because now we got Slate and Harris in the middle. Then Jerry Collins on the right. I'm so excited about those linebackers, too. And again, we do still have Derek Stingley at corner. So we're looking okay. Patriots safety, and then Derwin James, the big signing, brought in Brandon McManus and Blake Gillikin. The Gillikin. And then traffic wise, we already have two firsts, three seconds, four thirds because of a bunch of trading down. Bill Belichick. Would be proud. So we have some things that we got to go through to really kind of fill out this roster. But for right now, season two playoffs. <laughs>